You want me to put that on my todger? Harry's wife. Harry's court no show. Hello, I'm H.G. Tudor. The Daily Beast tells us Prince Harry blasted for wasting court time as he fails to show up at his own trial. In some respects, you would find this quite laughable. Probably the ginger dimwit smoking too much ganja and sleeping in. But actually, there's another reason for his failure to appear. Tom Sykes of the Daily Beast writes as follows. Prince Harry was accused of wasting court time on Monday after he failed to turn up at London's High Court, as ordered by the judge, because he was celebrating his daughter Princess Lilibet's birthday in California on Sunday. There will be some people who will say, well, good for him. His daughter's more important than court proceedings. But actually, a judge wouldn't see it that way. And moreover, it isn't actually because he chose to stay and celebrate, but rather he was ordered to do so. In the past, of course, he missed most of Archie's birthday because he was at the coronation, and rightly so. There will be other birthdays, but there will not be other coronations. But in this instance, it's quite simply the case that he will have been ordered by his wife to ensure that he attends. Many of you who have been involved with a narcissist will know that familiar feeling where you're caught between a rock and a hard place, where there's something you ought to do, but the narcissist insists that you do something else. Often it might be interference with your relationships with your friends and your family. Commonly, interfering in you getting your work done. The narcissist drops the narc bomb, and therefore drama erupts and you feel obligated to stay home and resolve it, meaning that you miss going out with your friends, that you don't turn up at the family event, that you're late for attending work. Sometimes a song and dance is made by the narcissist who might be at home, and you feel obligated to return from home to deal with the supposed drama. You'd much rather not, and you recognise over time that the behaviour of the narcissist is such that it isn't anywhere near as dramatic or as important as they make it out to be. But the problem is, you know that if you don't attend, it will make it all the more when you do t eventually turn up. And therefore, in order to keep the peace, you ensure that you attend this so-called emergency. For Harry, he is under the control of his wife. And therefore, his lawyers will have told him, you need to be there on the opening day because opening statements will not fill up the day and the judge has instructed and ordered that you be there. Indeed, his lawyer, David Sherborne, kicked off proceedings by saying that Harry would not be available to the obvious frustration of the judge. Sherborne told the court, the Duke of Sussex is attending tomorrow to give evidence. He flew yesterday evening from Los Angeles. He was attending his daughter's birthday yesterday, and he arrives. The judge interrupted, saying, I'm a little surprised that the first witness is not going to be available today. Sherburne replied that Harry was in a different category to his co-claimants, owing to travel and security arrangements, and claimed his presence on court was not important because it was never anticipated that the openings would not take the whole day. Now, first of all, it's true that he may have different travel and security arrangements for that of the other co-claimants, but the fact is, it's not a surprise, is it? It's not a surprise that Harry has different travel and security arrangements because he's had that for the 38 years that he's been on the planet, and therefore, you can plan accordingly. But that wasn't what caused him not to attend. It wasn't his travel and security arrangements. It was the fact that he decided to stay and attend his daughter's birthday. And the reason that he did that was because his handler insisted that he do so. On other occasions, he's been, away to, he's been able to leave certain proceedings, but here he could not do so. Be under no illusion, it's not a case of him choosing, but rather feeling obligated to do so. He would have said, well, I need to be away. The judge has ordered that I be there. And she'd have said, oh, so you're going to miss another birthday, are you? You're already missed Archie's, even though, of course, she may well have agreed to him doing that. But that doesn't matter, because of the narcissist's conditional asterisk. She'll throw it back in his face. And now, utilising the manipulation of guilt, 
So you're going to miss her birthday. You missed Archie's, or most of it, and now you're going to not bother with Lilibet's. Some father you are. Harry, of course, desperate to be a good father, flexing his empathic nature, then falls prey to this emotional blackmail and guilt-tripping, so he ends up staying. That means, of course, he draws the irritation of the judge. He can't win, whichever way that he goes. The BBC reported that the judge rebuked Sherborne, replying, It was anticipated that they might, which is why I directed that the first witness, Harry, should be available. A lawyer for the Mirror Group newspapers, who deny Harry and his co-claimants' allegations that phones were hacked to get stories for newspapers, including the Mirror, said Prince Harry's side were wasting time by not having him available to give evidence on Monday. Andrew Green said it was absolutely extraordinary that he is not available for day one of his own trial. Green added, I have to cross-examine Prince Harry on 33 articles, and that cannot be done in one day. I need one and a half days. That is not unreasonable. The judge appeared to side with Green, saying, I am not going to restrict you to a day, suggesting that court hours could be extended Tuesday and Wednesday if necessary. Harry is one of a large group of claimants who alleged that the Mirror Group used information gathered illegally to publish a string of stories about them. Sherborne said in his opening statement that it was obvious that stories about Harry's private life drove newspaper sales. He said Harry was one of the most written about individuals in this period and that he was hacked on multiple occasions. Accordingly, Harry didn't turn up on day one despite the judge directing him to do so. And this is the grip that his wife has on him, that it's basically, no, you're not going, you're staying here, you're celebrating Lilibet's birthday. So once again, off he has to jet across the ocean, no doubt feeling somewhat jet lagged and no doubt with his handler ensuring that he's still kept under control by repeated hoovers by telephone and through text message but he will have been made to feel guilty for the possibility of leaving to ensure that he attended as the court had directed that he ought to do so instead the failure to turn up although described as his attendance at his daughter's birthday which in no reason to suggest that that's not the case, isn't the whole story. It is instead driven by the behaviour of the narcissist needing to control him, by putting a spanner in the works with regard to what he wishes to do, and instead making it clear that he had to stay and celebrate his daughter's birthday or else. Harry, in the sustained devaluation, goes along with it and then faces criticism by the judge by failing to turn up on time for his own trial. I'm H.G. Tudor. Thank you for listening.